Hi, I'm going to show a little bit more complex case, diff case for semantic diff, what we call a crisscross diff. What I'm going to do is to move this method down. Basically, it's just about, you know, you refactor your code, you change location on a few methods, and then semantic diff is still able to track to track the differences, right? So basically, I move one method down, and then the method that was the last, I will put it just the first method after all the fields and properties. So this is what I did. If I go to get diff in Visual Studio Code, what I see is just, you know, fragments of code being added and deleted, but no, no actual, uh, you know, relationship between them. In fact, I'm going to make it a little bit more interesting by whoops adding a comment and then I'll do the same here just to highlight that the method was modifying modified okay let's now go to semantic diff and let's see what it can do for us so here we go first thing is just uh, well there's the summary the outline on the left where you can see that one method was moved but it was also changed and so on. The, the nice thing is as soon as I scroll down you can actually see how you know there's what we call a crisscross because the, the diffs were crossed right but the lines are actually selecting the the right things. In options I can always go and collapse the regions without differences which will actually be quite helpful now because it's really you know focusing on the on the real changes but I can also do more interesting stuff for instance I can click on here and I just see the method side by side you see that like the, the scrolls are somehow broken because now line 160 is together with 62 and now I can see the actual differences that in this case is just this added comment and of course I can do okay I, I will unlock it and then I'll lock the other one and this is the return method that was moved down and same thing here I see the difference if I go to visual diff I see a nice uh, representation of what happened and you see how the methods were moved and so on I can also hide it and change it just focusing on what actually happened which is quite helpful when you have lots of diffs and you can also go back and well it's, it's very simple to see it of course you can also see the differences from here it's like a sub diff show there and you see well the side by side diff seeing what actually changed on that method can go back to the diff and well you see the icon saying the method was moved and changed and from here I can also run a sub diff which is a text based diff for just the fragment you are interested on well, that's a little bit more of what semantic merge can do.